Hello, welcome again to BNI Evolution. Uh, if, if you have looked at my first video, I gave you this concept here of a new top uh, that you can connect with a land straw. Uh, and uh, I want to give a name to every hive, and this one I'll call it since it's the uh, cathedral, cathedral with the Langstroth, I'll call it uh, Cataline, okay, for a, better, for a better word. You can see I, I make designs, if you have, you're making something, just a, a little tip here, I take a plow big enough and I actually do it up to, up to scale completely. So if you see at first here I had the classic cathedral hive and I decided to change it to this type. Now I'm going to show you I started on the body of the of the hive. It's a horizontal hive, and I'll go show you over there how it's going to be done. Okay, so this is the actual size of the hive. All right. It's very, okay. I'm doing this very insulated. It. Uh, some of you will think it's an overkill, but uh, I want to see how a very insulated hive will work. Because I built for 15, 20 years on energy efficient housing. And uh, I thought we found out, of course, when we highly insulate it and seal it properly and provide good ventilation for fresh air, we built the house, the house now to uh, the best we can do uh, for, for heating. So I want to bring these principles to this hive. And this is not new, of course, some other people have insulated the hives this way. But this is 4 inch of uh, polystyrene insulation. These are um, recycled door panels. So it's all recyclable stuff. And uh, so this is how it's going to be. The V space, everything on the go. There was going to be a cover over it, opening it, and I have my entrance, my entrances. I have seven entrances on this side. The reason for these seven entrances is uh, from the book I'm taking the information from. These people, what they start is in the spring. Let's say the brood is here. All right. And they say that the, the brood will always um, establish itself near the opening. So that's, uh, so then you can, but in, towards the whole season, you can move, get them to move their brood any, any way you want. So once it's established, you add new, new frames, you close this one off, you open this one off, and gradually, gradually, you're gonna move. And then later on, in three weeks, four weeks, you open, close this one up, open this one up, and they'll gradually, gradually move here till you get to the, the, the time of harvesting almost. So after that, what you do is they will have produced honey after a while in the old brood. So you will extract the honey from the old brood um, and then uh, next year, you will be rebuilding new, new uh, comb in this part. So it's always a way of recycling your, uh, your brood uh, wax. All right, another thing, just an idea. You can actually take these, this frame, and you can also fit it Inside a deep and a six inch and a ten inch. So if you want to overwinter your bees, and this is, I'm just uh, telling you things that could be done with this. Well, then you do yourself a little roof and insulate it. Then you you have a, you extra for, for your honey, and uh, just an idea. It's right now minus 35 out there, and uh, I'm inside a warm warm place building things uh, for a hybrid uh, beehive like everyone's dream to build the ultimate perfect beehive 
I have made some blue bread which I will share later in another video and today I'm just going to show you about the uh, frames I'm doing for the top it's a hybrid beehive, it's a mix between the top bar and the last drop and it's trying to fit everything together and I've watched many videos of hundreds of videos of different people and I will give acknowledgement, credit where I got the ideas in a later video so I started with some rough bars right now I'm going to show you later on uh, the pieces I've cut so far I'm not going to go into detail exactly the lengths and everything that I'll give later and I will assemble one frame okay today I'm going to show you I'm going to assemble one of these frames and uh, so you can you know what I'm doing exactly so these are the uh, pieces for the top top bar not the top bar but it's uh, the top pieces and I start off with this just glue it together And here I've got little spacers, 5 sixteenths, the B space needed. Put the glue on top here so it's going to glide down. And here. Okay, then one of these, one of these. Just a bit. On the side. Good. Spacer. There. And mark it here. Put it back out. Put glue. Here. Then nail this guy together first. Watch your fingers. Then glue on these guys here. And this here. Okay, so now I'm sure it's at the right place. I got this nail it here. And with the jig, you always have, of course, you know that you'll always have the perfect the perfect fit or exactly identical to every one of them and sometimes the nails go through there have a needle plier to bring them off and here you have the frame thank you just so you uh, the jig so it's very simple but for those of you do, that uh, do not do that kind of stuff whatever I'll just explain simple plywood a piece nailed exactly uh, screwed and uh, that's basically it and these are my two spacers here when I put my other pieces to for to have my uh, my second piece under right center and have the B space on both sides equally okay thank you